you know you want to be growing a lot of leafy greens like that, don't you? If you've ever wanted to grow some of your own food, but you didn't want to put in the time or energy or money that goes along with all the weeding and tilling and composting and, and stuff that goes with a traditional garden, well, this video is for you. You see, with this system, just about anyone, anywhere can grow some of their own food. Now we're going to go over some of the basics of off-grid hydroponics. And that's because it's like your training wheels. We don't teach kids in kindergarten calculus. They need to know their one, two, threes and ABCs. So we're gonna start you off with everything you need to know to get started and try not to overwhelm you. See, some people see something like this and they get excited and they just start thinking tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, squash, watermelon, you know, the, the, and I've done it too. But I'm just telling you, start off simple because we want you to succeed. We want you growing your own food. And once you master this, You'll do it again and again and again. You'll get addicted to it and before long, you'll be growing all kinds of stuff. We're gonna start with your container, then your nutrients or your plant food and the type of plants. So basically any container that holds water will work. Now, the one caveat is this one's clear. I've got it open up so you can see what's going on inside. But basically, algae loves light. So you're going to want to block out the light and any way that you can do that works. You can paint your containers or cover them up with foil, burlap, whatever, somebody used an old sock, whatever works, right? Or you could just use other containers that are opaque, don't let a whole lot of light in. I'm growing a lot of kale in this right now. But basically anything that holds water is a downspout that goes alongside your house. Now, if you don't have a downspout, you can always borrow one from your neighbor. Hey, what are you doing? Or just pick one up at the store. All right. Get out of there. And we're growing 10 feet long sometimes, full of food. And also these mason jars are excellent for beginners because as you saw in the beginning of this video, the opening is the perfect size for these net cups and that's what's going to hold your plant you can start with that or just a pool noodle that's just a slice from the little thing that the kids play with all summer long right so i cut that up and i use that some people traditional hydroponics still use net cups now there'll be a link to these things down in the description so you know where to find them all but basically the opening on this mason jar is a perfect size for a two inch net cup. That's what you saw. And all we did was put a piece of rock wool, which is what we use in hydroponics to start seeds in. In the middle, we put some seeds in it, filled up the nutrient solution so that it touched the bottom of that, and you're in business. What could be easier? Oh, uh, I also use a pool noodle just to hold that in place so it's not wobbling all around. So once you figure out your container, you're on to the next step. You need some nutrients. Now, this isn't a bottle of what you think it is. That's nutrients, okay? I've been using Master Blend for about seven or eight years. When I first started, I tried a bunch of different things. And this came out to be the most economical and the easiest thing to use. And it worked the best for growing plants. So if it ain't broke, why fix it? So I love Master Blend tomato formula for 1838 mixed with calcium nitrate 1500 and a little Epsom salt that you can get at the drugstore. This is how I like to mix up my nutrients. 
Make sure you zero out your scale. I weigh out the calcium nitrate first. I put that into five gallons of fresh water and stir it up using one of these big wire whisks. Now if you don't have that, just use a spoon. And make sure that's dissolved before you move on to the next step. Next I add the master blend. And the Epsom salt. And just stir it till everything's dissolved. Now make sure to keep what you don't use in a dark place so it doesn't grow algae. And this is how I get my nutrients out when the bucket's full. And just push my melt container down in it slowly until it submerges. And that's it. Now you can get this at Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description. But if you don't want to order in bulk yet, when you order in bulk, it comes out to about 25 cents for a gallon, which is extremely cheap. But if you don't want to get bulk yet and you just want to give it a try, I've got little sample packs at my Etsy store and those are down in the description too. Each one of these sample packs is enough to make five gallons. So check that out, that'll get you started. We want everybody growing and I don't want you to be held back because you don't want to order fertilizer in bulk yet. But once you do this with the sample packs and you get addicted to that, you're gonna be like, yeah, 25 or 30 bucks for fertilizer is like nothing compared to the amount of food I'm growing. So you got your container, get your nutrients, and then you just need plants. Easiest thing to do is go to your home improvement store or local nursery and buy some plants, rinse the roots off, and I just hold them in place, like I said, with the little pool noodle. These also fit right into the mason jar. You're in business. Now, if you want to grow them from seed, I also grow microgreens. And if you check out my channel, I'll show you a bunch of different ways that I grow microgreens the easy way. Usually microgreens are real tender. It's just a sprout of the plant. And if you don't take care of them and watch them, water them twice a day, keep an eye on them, they can die really quick. The way I grow is that we put them in these self-watering containers and they, I just let them go. So check out the videos on that. So when your microgreens about an inch or two tall, you can take them and put them into these downspouts and they'll last in here for three to four weeks before you have to do anything to it. Kind of set it and forget it. Then after your plants grow a little bigger like this, you want to check every three or four days and maintain this level between half and three quarters full. There's a reason for that. Now this is one important thing about cracky or off-grid hydroponics that you have to pay attention to. These plants, we know taking carbon dioxide, breathe out oxygen. And we need that, right? That's our symbiotic thing with plants. That's why we need plants to live. But what most people don't know is underground, there's roots and they absorb oxygen from the ground. Now, as your nutrient level starts to drop, this area in here where there's no liquid, the plant will form air roots, little fuzzy, real fine hairs. Now without those air roots, most plants won't survive. So as this level drops, you never want to fill it all the way back up. Now my magic rule of thumb, and I want you to follow this, like we said, basics, right? Is keep everything between half and three quarters full. As it drops below three quarters, don't let it get below half. So keep it between the half and three quarter inch mark and you're going to be golden. And basically that's it. And you guys can be growing some of your own food. Can you imagine this stuff sitting around? You can grow indoors or outdoors. If you've got a sunny window, if uh, your kitchen has a lot of sun coming in, can you imagine having a bunch of uh, basil and mint and, and pop choy and stuff just growing at your fingertips so that while you're cooking, you can just reach over there and get it. Or imagine if you have friends over and you're eating and you put out some of your basil and mint and stuff when you're eating and they could actually pick off of it, cut their pak choy fresh and toss it in their soup or toss it in their salad. You know, so there's countless things you can do. You grow this indoors, outdoors. There's all kinds of videos on my channel where we've been growing with this. We've been, I think I've got over 200 videos. You guys are just gonna enjoy it. But like I said, don't click on my channel or the hundreds of other channels that are out there and watch thousands of videos and get confused about everything i want you guys 
start with this video start with the basics because I know that once you get the basics down you're gonna love it there's lots of people out there there I've got a Facebook group and people are sharing it all the time it just gets me excited every single day I get people telling me how much food they're growing and, and the different things they're doing and they take things that I've taught them and they change it into something else like we did you know we adapted that other people are doing other things you your mind will go wild but you can't do any of that if you don't know the basics foundation right and we're doing this because everyone needs to eat right basic necessity of life we can't feed the world but we can teach the world how to feed itself one person at a time it starts with you get out there lift inspire keep on growing be the change go grow some food Thank mm -hmm. you.